This is an experiment in how to make energy from something that we don't otherwise use. This is a 1.8 kilowatt turbine that we're going to be putting up which we think will generate enough electricity to power the lights in your house on a monthly basis. And again, it's just to see if the wind speed in this West Michigan area is capable of providing electricity. Um, it's also being used as a learning tool. We are learning more about the, the engineering students processes. received additional schooling in government processes when Governor Granholm came to campus to hear a presentation about the planned wind turbine. First of all, you're probably aware this is an area that we uh, absolutely as a state ought to be capitalizing on this renewable energy. The money for it is mostly coming from a state grant from the state of Michigan. We applied for it and they gave us $6,000 to complete this. Then Henry DeVries, the vice president of the college, also guaranteed us $5,000 for it. It should pay itself off. We're just not sure how long it'll take for this wind turbine to generate enough electricity to pay for its cost and then to start saving your money. That's one thing that we want to learn is more about, um, again, how much power can be generated. Um, it was the whole class of the mechanical engineers that were doing that. It's kind of been done in association with the Renewable Energy Organization. We are also connecting to the Bunker Interpretive Center kiosk. Right now they have um, a display for the solar panels that are on top. And so we're just going to kind of add more about the wind power and what kind of electricity we can generate. One of the projects we're thinking about is the house that, this, that the power from this connects to. We're thinking about doing efficiency studies and trying to make basically the energy that comes from this go farther there to see just how much, how useful this would be to a real, a real person that was using it. So this, this itself isn't going to change anybody's lives dramatically. but the experience from it and the idea of it and the information that we actually get from this turbine and it's the weather station associated with it might help us do just that.